Hello everyone and welcome to Foodie Friday DFW and today I'm with Charles Karloff. He and his wife Jackie own the Rusty Beagle right here on the Louisville Highland Village border. Thank you so much for having us over. Thanks for having us, Jay. This place is incredible and I've had some of your burgers so I happen to be an expert here. Good deal. It's going to be good but today I want to learn more about the Rusty Beagle from you and your wife. Is that fair? That sounds good. All right, good. So let me do this. Let me step out of the way so you and your wife can Take off your mask and tell us the story of the Rusty Beagle. Sounds like a plan. So the Rusty Beagle was started in 2012. My father started it. Uh, we told him not to. Uh, we sat in this restaurant. Uh, there was maybe two tables and uh, he was talking about buying the business and uh, we like I said, told him not to do it. <laughs> and uh, fortunately for him, us, he did. So 2012, he started the restaurant. We got married that same exact year. Yep. Same uh, day he picked up the keys. Yeah, he got the keys <laughs> the day that we uh, got married. And so uh, we went from there. Uh, he ran it for two years. Unfortunately, he got sick and passed away uh, March 2015. Uh, that was a big uh, decision as far as do we keep it? Do we sell it? You know, where do we go from there? Um, I ran it for about four or five months. And then uh, I was done. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this anymore. And so uh, she quit her job and she came and ran the restaurant and it's all history from there. She's, she's done a great job. Business has been good. I joke with people, they ask us if we're gonna have any more kids because our daughter's two now. So they're like, when's the next one coming? We already have two. I said, uh, I'm good, I have 35 um, because I consider all of our employees family. Um, I have a good handful that started when they were about 15. Um, and are still here or they come back and pick up when they're home from college. Um, so yeah, it's like having 35 kids. <laughs> a lot of restaurants missed the mark on being just for adults. So we're not that. Uh, you come to the Super Bowl, bring your kids, you know, and it's a safe environment for them. Um, you know, I, I know multiple customers that we've hung up here with with our kids, watch the Super Bowl games, uh, baseball games, you know, t-ball teams that'll pretty much pack this room here. Yeah. So through this whole COVID-19 thing, what drove us is that we had people that loved the restaurant, loved the staff, loved the people. And so by doing that, you know, uh, what we had done in the past had got us through the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, we're not through it yet, so you know, we're still going, but it, it's definitely something that uh, separated us from the competition. So today we're going to feature two of our best-selling burgers. Um, one is a crowd favorite, one is his favorite. Uh, the first one we're going to have is the Raging Cajun. So all of our patties are fresh, 100% beef, uh, half pound burgers, so they're really, really big. Uh, the Raging Cajun has grilled mushrooms, bacon, pepper jack cheese, and a house-made uh, Cajun aioli on it. And the Rusty, um, I kind of call the Rusty like our big nasty burger. It's huge. Um, it is again a half pound patty, um, about four ounces of uh, smoked brisket, cheddar house? cheese, yes we do that in house, uh, cheddar cheese, uh, chipotle barbecue sauce, two bacon wrapped jalapenos on top, and it's about that big. <laughs> it's massive. Also, we're going to do two of our sandwiches, uh, two of our most popular, the club. It has ham and turkey, bacon, lettuce, tomato, and peppercorn mayo, and it's a triple stack club, so it is also very large. Um, our other sandwich is going to be the Reuben. Uh, the Reuben is my new favorite. Uh, we started doing our corned beef in-house. Uh, so we start with a raw brisket, and we brine it for about seven days, uh, finish it in the oven, and hand slice it here. Uh, we are also making our own Thousand Island dressing now and our own sauerkraut, and it's on marble rye bread. So it is amazing. And for our healthy option today, we're gonna do the buffalo chicken salad. So kind of healthy. <laughs> so uh, buffalo chicken salad is crispy chicken, uh, tossed in your choice of wing sauce. So you can go all the way up to Volcano or all the way down to Mile. <laughs> Um, it also has uh, tomatoes, onion, blue cheese dressing, and uh, bacon bits on there as well. So 
a lot of people don't realize we have 24 taps. So we have a lot of craft beers. We rotate them regularly, seasonally. You can always find something new. And don't forget, we do have happy hour every day. We have a different special every day. Um, our regular happy hour runs 11 to seven, and then we feature something different every day of the week. We also have live music on our patio on Saturday nights right now too. If you could tell 10,000 people one thing about the Rusty Beagle, what would you say? So the, the big thing is, is that this restaurant was my father's. Um, you know, <clears throat> it takes a lot of special people to make this thing happen. We've probably made every mistake you can make. We've gotten through it. But the only reason we've got through is because we have a good family. And uh, I think my dad would be proud of where we got to so far. I think we have a future ahead of us. And uh, that's what I would say. So come to the Rest of Eagle. My wife and I will be here and we'd love to have you.